But yeah, Film Red was Gucci. Yeah, nah, Film Red was I, really I don't bad. know how I feel about Uta though, because she is OP as fuck. Yeah. Like, I think I think in the long we said that the long when we was haul, watching it we was like damn that's OP as fuck. The show is that's OP as fuck. She can put you to sleep, turn you into a, a, a zombie soldier. She can put and you in the, uh, throw you into alternate su- dimension where she's God. She can put you in the and sing people back to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly, that's what, exactly what she can what do. It is. She can put you in the and infinite. the movie's canonical, which means now that she's dead, the sing sing fruit is somewhere else. And I bet whoa, she was going to make an appearance in the movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uta's dead? She's not dead. Uh, did you watch the movie? I did. Uta's definitely dead. They, do you remember when they were, like, leaving on the boat and they had the casket? It was a casket? <laughs> so. Wait, hold on. Did I, go to the, did I go to the bathroom at that point or something? Um, I did not see a cat. I, I you did movie. go to the bathroom at one point. I don't know if it was that Ooh, point. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, she got what? I thought she just <laughs> left with Shanks because they well, didn't want to fight. They didn't no, fight. remember Shanks like held her at the end, but when she was like, remember she was coughing up blood. Because she was eating them mushrooms the whole time. It was because she was trying her. to. She was they like, no, nah, I gotta save everybody. everybody. She knocked it away. She did, baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm so she sorry. did knock the mushroom away. She did do that. Oh, man. Yeah. Well. Oh, man. But I mean, you know. She'll live on in our hearts forever. One Piece don't kill. Older don't kill nobody in this show. <laughs> Oda just killed off oh, Pedro, Whitebeard, Ace. Oda only kill off like important people is what I've been noticing. Like Oda kills off like the people we love the most. Yeah. Just kill off Shanks' daughter. He only daughter. kills off for like plot development though, which is why I'm convinced that the Sing Sing fruit finna come back. Um, the only way that it would have been plot relevant is if she died. Who you think? Better hope Blackbeard will find it. <laughs> I was just right. about that nigga on the move. I don't move. know how many more devil fruits he could get. I still don't completely understand what his deal is. Who, which, Cause he just dishing them out to all his crew. Which power? You know? Which power structure you think gonna have end up with the Sing Sing fruit? You think it's gonna be the Revolutionary Army, World Government, well, Navy, fun. or one or a pirate? Um, I feel like knowing Oda, like there's really <laughs> no telling who gonna get it. It might it might be some random little kid that gets yeah, it. You're like, and like oh, a kingdom fine. somewhere. And then like twenty chapters later, the kid comes in and makes like a game saving throw, and you're like, "Facts." Huh? That's exactly so, how he write that shit. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, that could go a couple what ways. What you think? What you think is gonna happen to Law? You know, you know what, what he's doing. Right is he alive? Now? You think? You think um, he's not alive? He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So so this is what's gonna happen. Um. Am I allowed to talk like? Uh, okay, so, yeah, so spoilers yeah, yeah. for the manga if you're not caught up. We all wanna, caught like, up in the manga, to, by the way. Yeah. I don't know, maybe like a, a we could put like a time on the on a screen when I'm done talking about the manga. For but sure. Currently, at the at the utmost chapter, we got Law going to Elbath. Right. We got um, Luffy on Egghead Island about to go to Elbath. <laughs> Uh, Usopp's excited about that. I cannot wait to see Usopp on Wano. I can't fuck with I've been saying this since we got to Wano because all throughout Wano, uh, Usopp never really just had like his moment. Like yeah. even during the war, during the scrap, nothing throughout that whole time we've been in Wano did Usopp really just contribute his full Usopp effort. Usopp is there for Usopp been command the entire. When we get to Elbaf, it's God. about to be all Usopp all the God, time. We Usopp about to. Come back. Oh, yeah. Cause you know he about to meet his niggas. Oh yeah, <laughs> he about to get reunited with his niggas, bro. Run up with DMX for the start playing. He been like, <laughs> cause they gonna ask him how much stronger have you gotten since we last seen you? Cause that's how Vikings act. That's how giants are. Yeah, Usopp gonna, gonna have so to like fun. prove himself. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. Kid said that he's going after the man with the burn mark. Now at first, I thought he was talking about Sabo, because you know the mm-hmm. burn mark. But, but. We know that Saul is alive now. Saul right. has a big ass burn mark on his face. So oh, my Reginald. idea is the three idiots are going to once again meet up on Elbath. Wow. <laughs> and get into some shit. But you know they they going to Elbath for them books, really. It's really that's the yeah, real that's value there. Them going. But I feel like wow. Ken and his uh, crew finna go to Elbath looking for Saul because Saul's a giant. He would be on Elbath. You think Vegapunk Vegapunk go ahead. Vegapunk from the what what type of help Vegapunk finna give Luffy? Cause it's crazy. At the end of the last chapter, he was like, "Well, congratulations on coming here." Like he I knew mean, he was gonna come. 
Because he, he like ain't cahoots with Dragon. Telling him the information that he just did that would pretty much give get him killed is probably most of the help that he's gonna get from him, Loki. I, I I think that the Vegapunk is very much like a. I just want to make my shit and not get killed. Way, and not yeah. So yeah. I told you the shit because I want y'all to know, daughter of Ohara, you deserve to know this. Like that's your birthright. Go find them books. Go talk right. to them niggas. But. I, I think that he's gonna be pretty hands off with it. It seems like <laughs> Vegapunk really underhand with the Revolutionary Army though. And like on the yeah, other side, he opposes the world government. I think too. he hang with them. But I he think just maybe do what he like do. when it comes down to like when we do our actual like battle against Marie Joie, I feel like maybe then he'll like hop in a little bit with the revolutionary armies. But I don't think that he's gonna do anything directly for Luffy oh, specifically. Nah. He's just a mind behind you. No. Hey, I think like at most the contribution he do is probably like make some clothes like this how just how he just gave him some clothes i think that's probably the most he'd Point ever in the right direction yeah the the thing with him is the, the value he of said knowledge. you got it yeah. Yonko, go go ahead bye uh, <laughs> much, besides that info he's not really coming off too much how more. much longer y'all staying yeah i think he they uh they stay in his laboratory though so yeah, i think they gave him he gave him the information he couldn't just send him on out the hell bathroom. he said they about to leave the laboratory right now because he said he about to go show him something I would what's say, he about to show him Definitely by the the new year, we're gonna be on our way to Elba, if not there, I would say. So sometimes they be doing a couple more wrap up chapters, and I still feel like Bonnie gonna have some sort of bone to pick since she's there. So we'll see. Yeah, they gonna. I feel like they might not get out immediately, but that's definitely like where they're trying to. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be like that when you're when it's two o'clock at the club. And the lights come on and you look around and you realize that none of your niggas is there <laughs> and you gotta <laughs> that's oh, what's hey. gonna happen before they mm. can leave and go to LBAP because you they're gonna go outside Luffy ADHD ass gonna see something run and they're gonna yeah. be like god damn it yeah. <laughs> yeah. nah yeah cause Luffy with the that giant right now and it started moving that uh the robot oh, oh yeah so they it already got you yeah. it's shit yeah they got shit going on Damn, I'm excited. I'm excited for but I also stuff. know that like Luffy cares a lot about Robin, so the minute he realizes that this is important to her, he could be like, "All right, let's go. That you got it." For sure. And then it's like the show. We've been waiting on that's that's some that's an answer. We know we finna get when we like a, a question we've been asking for for like three, four hundred episodes now. Like, what happened in the boy? Century. No, facts. I, I didn't honestly. I didn't even think we were about to get that this soon. Yeah. They've been holding on to that bag for so long. I, I thought say, they was gonna wait even longer. I knew we was gonna have to figure it out soon. So, like, I, I would have said, oh, "This this shit is ending." I got three years in me, and that is crazy because <laughs> yeah, when they when they told us that, I was like, "Okay, yeah, that's how we know it's coming to a close." They giving us all the shit we want to know. Mm. The world government started off. It's years. surreal. It, it kind of feels like. No, yeah. my baby going up and going yeah. to college. Yeah. Double edged sword. <laughs> like, what I'm gonna do with my life now? One piece is over. You know, what am I gonna <laughs> do when One Piece ends? I'm just gonna sit here. Cause ain't nothing that's gonna replace it. Nothing. Yeah, it's gonna that's be. That's okay. I think One Piece is gonna solidify like all time. But, you but I just to. want it to like end like that because I do not want no damn. One piece of Putin. Goofy <laughs> Baruto uh, ass spin off. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Boruto, what's your opinions on Boruto? Oh I don't have no opinions on something <laughs> I pity. <laughs> Boruto is right a damn so. show. Uh, well, okay, Boruto explain to her why it's a good show. Saruto, which is the next generation when Boruto has a kid Saruto. and they focus on Boruto's kid, Saruto. Is that the name? I'm gonna kill myself. I'm not gonna watch that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, come on now. I think, I think they'd be overdoing it. I think they're gonna end it with Boruto. Uh, I have to. Speaking speaking of some new new gen anime is let me know what you thinking is is Chainsaw Man the future of anime is what they putting out I hope the cream so, of the crop because, um I can't remember the manga's name but dude is insane and I love him I it's, it's Fuji something mm-hmm. I, I don't remember what the last syllable is but man I I'm, I'm caught up in the manga right now for Chainsaw Man mm-hmm. and it is. I just, I just love it so much. I love the characterizations. I love um, the interactions between the characters. Obviously, like the fight scenes and everything go off, but I really feel like they knew the assignment in terms, like Mappa always knows the assignment, mm-hmm. but they were like, this, this one deserves the budget and the budget it's getting and it looks great. I really hope 
this is the future of anime. I know there's a lot of old school anime fans that are still really salty about CGI. Mm -hmm. I was definitely that way at the <laughs> beginning, but as we're starting to like really get the hang on it, I don't mind it as much. Like there are people who are complaining about the CGI in Chainsaw Man, and I'm like, you didn't watch Berserk because yeah. <laughs> the CGI in Chainsaw Man is fine. It's not, I feel like people should, as far as new gen animation goes, we should damn near just be, if not expecting, at least be used to CGI and animator day. Like, look at Attack on Titan. Look at I feel, and a lot of it right. hasn't and been Attack bad on recently. Not be as big as it was. Attack on Titan, CGI. when they put it in, exactly. it was actually pretty good. It made That's what I'm Titan like. Better. CGI hasn't. I, it's it's definitely been better in the most recent years than it was, like you said back when Berserk sure. came out with that shit. We had to figure it out. I think yeah. they put they um when they renewing the Naruto, they put in the better put better GTI, so it all look like you know from his younger days or whatever. They, oh, they had they're redoing all CGI of that. Like, I, I seen they like slightly different in some shit like because of the new animation. That's why I told you I was gonna rewatch it because it was like okay. I seen I saw I seen the trailer for some of the fights or the scenes that they did uh, reanimate. I didn't see any CGI in them, but they definitely did give it that new generation of artsy QC like, an animation style. Like that, um, that first Naruto clean Sasuke cut fight is different. Like it is, and they even added like a little bit more blood and gore in some scenes. I for sure some that. Um, hello. Titan CGI made me question. I was like, damn, what kind of animation is that? I thought it was damn still animation. I think if they didn't have the CGI, no. Titan is really pretty goddamn real. I was still watching Titan. If it didn't have the CGI, um, yeah, if it was just animation with that same storyline. Yeah. Would you watch Attack on Titan? Hey, we back. If, it, if there was no CGI, would you watch Attack on Titan without the CGI? I mean, maybe. I feel like I only ended up watching it though because it got as popular as it did, mm -hmm. and I feel like it wouldn't have gotten as popular as it did if it weren't for them 3D maneuver gear fight scenes looking. I so I, I honestly feel like if it if it didn't create the hype that it did, it, it just wouldn't have been on my radar for real. So I I, I see that that makes sense. I was telling him that I would still watch it. Right, but that's by circumstance. I'm saying if I still knew like what the story was gonna be, on like how all this shit was gonna be written out, and it was just strictly animated, like maybe early sort out online, I still would watch it. But you gotta, you gotta. Because I'm into like the writing. Of yeah, the you show. gotta watch it to know the writing, though. Like, like I would have watched that. Like Seven Deadly Sins could be written, written pretty good, but the the. the Seven Deadly Okay, but well, boom, you know that's saying? different. Like, you saying about trash animation versus no CGI? But 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 what I'm saying is is then a okay. What, what I'm saying is is you gonna have to something's gonna have to draw you to the show before you can just watch it. Have you seen Have you seen early sort of online like season one or two? Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, and you remember the animation of it, right? Yeah, there was definitely some moments of like some good CGI, but there was definitely some moments of like. What? <laughs> yeah, like the first season for sure. <laughs> but I mean, I forgot to change that. They, they didn't really have a budget like that back in season one. But the but the story was so good, it was like shit. Fuck the budget. I'm about to watch this season. The the first half of season one okay, was incredible. Good, but the writing. If if they would have kept going with the first half of season one, they damn near could have had a, a one piece length anime. Yeah, they, they could have just promised never that a little bit. Yeah, like hundred hundred could have one piece length. So I see um, it there. Do you think people are going to be like really upset when Hunter Hunter like anime comes back and it has absolutely nothing to do? They got to do it right. Gone and Killua. Do you think oh no, 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 nah, nah, hell. They no. are because people. I don't think people know what's going on in the manga right now. If they, they do they it don't like that. that, the next part follows Pure Pika specifically. <laughs> it's his show now. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, people would definitely be upset. But me, I'm me for one. I'm just hyped that it's finally gonna start coming back because it's been too long. Um, right, I'm just happy that you finally feeling better and just able to work on the manga again. Exactly. Um, it's, it's he's been sick for a long time. A long but. time, honestly. And I feel like like the type of work schedule the mangakas are forced to have, like it makes sense. And he definitely like worked himself to that point. Mm. 
let me ask you, who do you think has the biggest fan base between Demon Slayer, JJK, and Chainsaw Man? Because these are some pretty hype shows for the last two years. And Chainsaw now, Man. here or like worldwide? Give me both. I think worldwide, Chainsaw Man is going crazy. Like in Japan, they are like num 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 num. And yeah. don't get me wrong, like JJK and Demon Slayer did good, mm -hmm. but they did better here than they did in Japan. Mm -hmm. But Chainsaw Man is popping in both areas at about the same level, which is crazy to see. Um, but I would say if we're talking specifically here, just like an overall thing, Demon Slayer definitely got more hoes. <laughs> It's, there's okay. like Shinobu print everything, Tanjiro print everything, it's uh, Nezuko much. print everything, mm -hmm. um, and maybe that's just you know recency. Like there hasn't been the, the chance for Chainsaw Man to like push as much merch here yet, so it could definitely be the, the case that that changes. I think that is about but to change. Some merch, it's just that the drip is different. Yeah, but you know what else it is too? Is that for as gory as it kind of is, Demon Slayer is very family friendly. So for they're sure. able to market towards like kids more. Mm. I feel like Chainsaw Man can't be afforded that as much. Man's just on that. reckless behavior. <laughs> Man's I, just feral. I definitely agree with your, your worldwide point about Chainsaw Man. Explicitly for the fact that I've been knowing about this show for two years before it even came out. And right, I have I don't even read about the manga. The Demon Slayer manga before the anime came I never out. even heard about it. Netflix introduced Demon Slayer to me. Yeah. Chainsaw Man, Mike been talking about that shit for years. We've been seeing panels of that on Twitter for crazy like, amount of time. Like it was this, damn near like, Chainsaw Man preparation. Manga officially broke records in Japan that was previously held. Like like Chainsaw mm. Man, like his manga mm. is is top manga right now, like overall. And, and man's man's is also if you've ever just like. He doesn't really do interviews or whatever, but he's got like two videos on YouTube. And he's just, he's like insane, but I love him. It'll just be like, here's a video of me. And it's just like him looking at the camera, like upside down in like the poorest quality ever. And just like staring at it and like randomly screaming. And I'm just What's like, that? are you okay? Yeah, he, he seems <laughs> to, to write. What he's writing, you gotta be on the insane side a little bit. Yeah, Cause it's yeah. Art, especially it's if you've art. ever heard of uh, Fire Punch, that mm -hmm. shit's crazy. You should read Fire Punch. Fire Punch? Yeah. It's by the same manga cut. Oh, that okay. It's crazy. Okay, so you writing a bunch of shit like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Shit, I think that came before Chainsaw Man. And they really liked it, but they were like, we like Fire Punch, but do that, but different. And he was like, got it. Bet. Say this. So. <laughs> What's the worst anime you ever seen? In terms of like animation, story, both? Both. As far as just quality of the writing. It's probably just like some, some weird like shit that I just randomly rented from the library on like... <laughs> People are not gonna like me for this, but Angel Beats. I don't like mm. Angel Beats. That was Damn. dumb ass. I'm not gonna, that's a pretty popular pick. I don't like Angel yeah. Beats. I honestly also can, just can't really think of too many animes that I don't like. <laughs> what What don't you like about Angel Beats? I, the story and the writing. I like some of the characterizations. TK is hilarious. I love that man. But um, okay. yeah, everything else about like, it just felt very forced to me. Like a lot of the relationships, a lot of the, the writing. Um, granted, I did watch the anime in dub. So that could be part of it. Um, I feel that way sometimes. If I would have read it, it would have been, I would have liked it more or something. Um, I, it's just hard for me too, though, because I'm thinking, oh, you know what else I didn't like that people aren't going to like me for not liking? I didn't like a comic got killed. I didn't like it. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it because yeah. of the ending or just overall wasn't for It's just it? overall, I don't know. I was like, I'm bored. I, I didn't even finish a comic got okay. killed. Like I tried. And it was oh, you like, didn't finish it? I didn't finish it. I got, I got, I got to like the twist without spoilers. With what episode like, did you get? The to? main character dies. Yeah. Oh, okay. But <laughs> I knew that, and and I do think like the the powers, I hated like that. the the weapons are cool. But I was just like, I, I just never got invested into it. Like I don't know. Like I was like, I don't care what happens to any of y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's, uh, in a way, that's kind of bad writing because the the writer failed to get you attached to them to them characters. Because what it is, mm-hmm. it's not it's not gonna hit the same as when Neji died or when. But at the, the same time, because like, they didn't write it that way, they didn't give them that much spot on. You couldn't even really just get that's attached to these characters because the characters die every episode. So it's like every, if not every episode, every two episodes, a nigga's dying. So it's like, damn, if you try to get attached, you about to lose him quick. Like, Fair. Yeah. Oh, um, so but types, I mean, they was assassins, so they was, he, niggas was dying often. Um, but that's fair. I think a comic got killed could have really set the bar higher if they changed that, that ending. I think the MC dying was pretty stupid. Uh, especially how he died. I didn't even, mm-hmm. that, that, <laughs> that was just like they said, <laughs> fuck the anime at this point. That was just, right. I was like, this is disrespectful. It was like, what the f- So why would we do all this shit? <laughs> like, I'm wasting my time. Man, go, that's, yeah. Sex. I don't want to be here no more. <laughs> fair enough. So I, I, I give you that. Um, is there any new gen anime that you would use to sub out something in the big three? I, so I'm a 100% believer in big three purists Okay. That's not a word. <laughs> I don't think there's any new big three. I don't think that big three means this is the best three anime of all time. I think big right. three meant these were the three mangas that revived Top Shonen seven. Jump from almost Fact. ending, which they did. And mm-hmm. Shonen Jump has never been that close to ending again. So there will never be a new big three, in my opinion. Mm. Um, but if I did have to say like what I think, like the, the current big three anime that just kind of like... Well, what's it's the big three? It gets the niggas going. Um, She's talking about the... Chainsaw Man. Mm. Probably JJK, probably Demon Slayer. I would say. Uh-huh. I would say like the, the so three like previous y'all <laughs> brought up as like the new gen ones that like people are really like attached to. Oh, um I I like Demon Slayer a lot. And honestly though, if UFO Table hadn't adapted it and it didn't get the animation budget that it got, I don't think that it would because it didn't do that well in Japan. Like, it didn't. It did not. Um, it's it's cute or whatever, but yeah, I don't think it really deserves to be there personally. But I understand that it it is based yeah, on just the how fandom. Feel about it. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> um, have you ever seen Fate? I I haven't seen all of Fate because there's okay. a bunch of different Fates. Yeah, I've seen like order. one and a half Fates. I've seen Fate Zero. Okay, that's a good one to Fate. watch. Um, what was the other one that I watched halfway through? I don't even remember. I watched one and a half fakes. <laughs> gotcha. Um, I have a lot of friends that are very like financially addicted to the game. <laughs> <laughs> so the shit is awesome. Just be getting you. <laughs> um, drop five hundred dollars a week on the damn game. <laughs> I was like, you still ain't pulled that S card? Good luck, friend. <laughs> you still trying to get saber? <laughs> What all goes into you deciding how to bring a character to life? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I think I just kind of be like staring at reference art and then going through my mental arsenal of different things that I can make things out of. I've always been just like a very like hodgepodge as kid. Like even before I got into cosplay, I was just like taking random shit around the house and like trying to like stick them together and make stuff. Yeah. My little inventions, I thought I was doing neutron or whatever fuck. <laughs> and, <laughs> right? None, none that worked, but it looked cool. Yeah. I don't know, uh. So, but like, um, some people might, you know, think, okay, well, I want to make this. And my brain immediately goes, it, it almost like blueprints it out and it goes, okay, you can use this material to make this. Um, you want to use probably this type of fabric with this type of stretch for that. Um, and these are the kind of stitches you'd need. And even when it comes to like, like for example, I'm making a giant syringe right now for a cosplay that I have. Um, and so I was like, okay, how do I want to go about doing this? And I was like, okay, so for like the needle part, I could probably like get the roll of like, like some, some wrapping paper and then like cut that at a slant. And it's gonna mm. be like a good like long yeah. needle point thing. And Take then, shit through. oh, I want to make like the clear um, body for it. I could use either like, vinyl boat wrap if I can get that to you know be sturdy enough or if that's not working I could probably get like some clear piping PVC from like the hardware store 
and I can probably like fill in that with different stuff. And if I want to make it look like it's full, but without actually adding any liquid to it, I can get some like stained glass paint and paint just a certain part of it so it'll look like there's liquid in that part. Um, so it's just kind of like my brain kind of like, yeah, you detail. I have ADHD, so my brain okay. just like, click, click, yeah, click, 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 networking immediately when I'm like trying to figure out how to do stuff. It just, it just, yeah. like the, like the pegboard, it pegboards out. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I am too. Like, especially when I focus on something, like my brain just kind of like, okay, let's do this, let's do that, let's do that. Yup. Yep. The creative uh, process. But at the same yeah. time, like you can go so, you can get so crazy, like you'll be, you be that stuck. Okay, which one I do first? Yeah. <laughs> A method to your madness. <laughs> yeah. The, like, the, the paralysis of taking the first step, but you'll be hitting. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. You, got, you know what you got to do. <laughs> Ronnie, what's the first anime that ever made you cry? Um, they do got some scenes. But I would say that the anime that made me cry the most was One Piece. Jesus Christ. Especially Which time? <laughs> Which scene? All of the, like, the entire Romance Dawn arc, like getting everyone's backstory, I was like, mm. every time we got someone else's backstory, I was like, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna lie. I was like, Chopper's crying, I'm crying. Robin's crying, I'm crying. <laughs> you, you know what backstory really got me? Senior Pink. It was funny too because we were t- someone made a tweet the other day. They were like, "Which One Piece character has the t- most tragic backstory?" And everyone was like, "Oh, Robin. Oh, Chopper." And I was yeah. like, "Senior Pink." <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get it. Cause that's it. Well, we were thinking this guy's a joke character. <laughs> man, I got respect for Pink. Facts. Um, I took with man. Senior Pink dish. Who's a character that you think should be a straw hat that isn't? Uh, a part of me wants to say Sabo only because he's Luffy's brother, and I I want to see that flame flame fruit use more. Um, but I I fuck with where he's at. I fuck with where he's at. Um, who should be a straw hat but isn't? He's like he not. Like he on the team. Yeah. I mean, everyone's um, gonna be on the team by the end of it. That's the winning team. Yeah, right. But <laughs> damn, that's a good question. Who should be a striker? Go to Phoenix, it? nah. His old ass can sit down somewhere. He but retired. Nah, he's yeah. retired. He retired. <laughs> Let him chill. Oh like uh, shit. Save y'all ass Yamato. I mean, y- Yamato is. I'd be cool with that Yamato answer. Because Yamato be cool wants to that. be on the Might still low key join them by the end. We'll see. I could see that. Yeah, by the end, I for yeah. sure could see that. But she's staying to look out, you know, to look out for Wano for a little bit, right? Like, yeah. Doing yeah. the whole yeah. trick that Odin did I around think. Wano because Yamato only ever lived in Onigashima. So mm-hmm. was never allowed to see the entire like island of Wano. And uh, so to live up, I feel like, to Odin's will. Mm-hmm. Yamato has to know where Odin kind of like came from and what made Odin Odin. I feel like once once Momo can like handle Wano on his own and protect it by himself, Yamato will be like, okay, I can leave this to you. Yeah, with ease. I can go. I can go join Luffy now because you shit. You the Kaido of, of Wano. <laughs> Facts. I'm. Yeah. You got this shit. You got this shit. Um. No, nah, I can't wait on that. Uh, yeah, so either, either Yamato, we still haven't answered the question yet, though. Sure, I, I think it is Yamato for me. Or, I, oh, that would be the best answer, because I can't really think. Another nigga I thought of was fucking like Baltal or whatever that nigga's name is. Did, huh? I think so. Oh, the nigga uh, with the green hair. That nigga want to be a straw head bad. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, but I don't even want to just put his name in a hat, because what the fuck? It's like, because he followed, he followed Lucy. <laughs> Bro got a whole ship. Personified, I think. Um, I love but Marshall no. Law, you know who else deserves to be a straw hat? Which is actually why I asked the question because I want to see if y'all would say the character that I Tell immediately me. if you asked my question. If you asked me, I'd be like, both like. Barclay? Yeah, I'd be like, Barclay. I would. Like, I would. I would have said Barclay. Agreed. Barclay. Agreed. 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 Is in charge of like the underground world that Eva was running before Eva I, got busted out. I heard that. So Bone Clay is alive. Um, who's your favorite character to cosplay? That's always a hard question. Um, it's been a minute since I've done it, and I really want to remake 
the cosplay for it, but I think the my favorite character I've ever cosplayed is Metaton from a video game called Undertale. Mm. Um, it's like an indie game. It is okay. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because my friends have this ongoing joke not to bring up Undertale around me because I will go on like a whole rant about it, which I will spare y'all. Um, but just know that it is a very, very popular indie. It's, it's actually probably one of the most successful indie video games of all time, low key. Um, and it focuses on the idea of player choice. There's three different endings for the game. You can get the true, the true power, the, the true route or the pacifist route, which you go through the game and you don't kill oh. a single fucking character. Okay. Very, actually very difficult because so they're still trying game. to hit you. And like their attacks are like bullet hell. So you got dodge like hell, like think Cuphead. Mm. Um, there's the neutral route, which is you killed a couple of people. <laughs> you didn't do as good as you were supposed to do, but you obviously weren't out for blood. Um, and then there's the uh, no mercy route or the genocide route. And what's crazy about the genocide route is it's not even so much, oh, that you kill every character that you come across. It's that you have to literally stay in areas and farm chance encounters with NPCs and kill every last character mm. before you go. But when That's you do that, the game alters and the, like it, it makes it so that you can't play the same game twice after doing that route. Like, you, you try to play the game again, you you reset it, you delete your save data and play again, and niggas is gone. Like, you killed okay. everybody, they're yeah. still gone. Oh, and, shit. like, the only way to reset it is to, like, uninstall the game and shit. It's, like, very oh, psychologically deep. Mm. It's my favorite game. Anyways, Metaton is, like, a homicidal drag queen robot, and I love him with my entire heart. <laughs> <laughs> I see the devotion. Okay. Um... This is this is a question that I think a lot of people want to know. And since you're an avid watcher of both shows and a, a firm, firm believer in the manga, I want to know who do you think will win in a one v fight, one v one fight between Luffy and Naruto? Prime. Oh wait, Prime. Mm. Prime. Both of them at their top. I don't care if you you can go. Uh, what is it? Baron mode. Uh, any of them. I, okay, so the, the, I, I, okay, so you know how you're like right brain and left brain and like your left brain is supposed to be logical and your right brain is supposed to be creative? Okay. The left brain part of me says that Naruto would win because like him and his prime is God, low key. Okay. Um, and killed, and killed who was supposed to be God. Granted, he had help, but still, like you got sage mode, you got night. I'm, I'm listening to him. I'm listening to him. All three of them stack, stack, stack. I'm like, Thanks. In terms of just raw power level, it feels like Naruto got the cap on that. However, mm -hmm. knowing that Luffy Gear 5's power is literally just the power of being a cartoon character tells me he's unkillable, Loki. Crazy. Like imagination. You how you gonna kill Bugs Bunny? Like you 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 kill him or whatever, and he got some birds floating around his head. All he gotta do is like grab one of them birds and he woke the fuck back up. Like Crazy. you're not killing him. Okay. <laughs> so, ah, I, I, I kind of, I kind of think it's Luffy. Uh, I kind of, okay. but that's just like plot armor alone. Let me ask you a question. Oh shit. Do you think Naruto had his prom? Let's take him as like Hokage and Naruto, right? Okay. Baron? Sure. So, so, so okay. Okay. So is that his prom? Well, no, it's, or is, it's really not. Because I, I feel it's like KCM not, is probably so, his prom. KCM probably is prom. Okay, I, I give, I give it. That. Okay. I think KCM here be able to put Luffy in a in a water prism jutsu. A water prism jutsu. A water prism jutsu. Um, he Naruto water, doesn't do he doesn't water, water jutsu. He doesn't do water, but he Hokage, do Hokage Naruto can. Oh, because of that fake hand. Yeah, he can. <laughs> Um, That's why I was like, Yo, a you, water. If you want to go Hokage, okay, but Casey, you can't. It'd just, be just like a, a brute fight. I mean, maybe, but that just then, because I feel like the the power of the Nika Nika fruit is only limited. I feel like by your imagination. Facts. And I feel like. But if, if you get you them in the water, you don't got way to like. I'm part of the prison now, and then I yeah. come out of the prison. Yeah. Like it's as easy. as Or that. I'm a boat, <laughs> and I. I don't something. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's because this is a, it's his imagination. But Naruto can yeah. swim. <laughs> he can run on water. 
I mean, that's cool. Know, so but you can't, like, hurt you. me. How are you going to hurt me, though? Like, hurt I me. I think the, the, the issue is, though, is that Naruto is limited by what his powers can do specifically. Mm. And Luffy is only limited by what he can come up with. But if it, okay, if boom. he can come up mm. with shit, he's a cartoon character. It doesn't matter anymore. Strategically, <laughs> strategically. Man does this up. Roger Rabbit to the highest degree. He, he is, he is. Strategically speaking, though, if they was to really fight, mm -hmm. yeah, I would think Naruto would think of if he if he knows that okay, his his weakness is water. He put some stones. Does water. he know that? I'm giving. If he does know, if they, okay. if they fight, they you know they gonna learn each other weaknesses. He gonna learn he don't like water. Okay. Like that, so he gonna lead them to the water. I think eventually they gonna come to that because. The writing in Naruto tells me, lets me know that the characters are smart enough to figure <laughs> some guys out and to, okay, this is his weakness. We're going to play by his weakness. All right. So I think, they, I think, I think the character, I think Naruto, well, I think even though Luffy is stronger in his abilities, I think Naruto would just outsmart him. That's, that's cool. So the how? The thing that like makes me think like maybe, but maybe not is because Aren't, isn't like it's supposed to work how with devil fruits you even come in contact with seawater and your shit that that should weaken you to the point that like you can't like kryptonite damn near yeah what the fuck does brook do uh run on water run on sea water he's touching it so that tells me like there's possibilities of like devil fruits being like used where Maybe the seawater has to hit you a certain type of way too. I feel like it's gotta be like enough, yeah, enough. You're submerged in it because I was just watching the One Piece special earlier. The one. Uh... How the hell did Luffy get out of them sea prison handcuffs back on uh, Punk Hazard? I don't remember, but if if he oh. did it himself, then I'm inclined to be like See, Luffy. Might didn't Smoker out. help him? Was it Smoker? Because I know they was on the same side. Smoker? He got his ass whooped like three times on Puck has it by Law, by um, Doflamingo, right. <laughs> by uh, Virgo. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't his art. That was not. Uh, that was not his art. Nigga, that was the first time they introduced Smoker again back after we got to the New World. And then nigga just got hands put on him by everybody. That's crazy. <laughs> he still think they equals. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. This man think he can fight him. <laughs> Might as well just join a team. Type shit. Yeah. What? So I mean, I feel like yeah, if 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 both sides had complete understanding of how the other side worked, um, that Naruto definitely could could have him. But I also feel like Luffy is a lot more adaptable in a fight mm -hmm. than Naruto is. Mm -hmm. I feel like Naruto figures out how to be adaptable after he gets his ass beat. <laughs> well, sure. Okay, so look, 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 at, look at this though. Look at this, because I think durability in this fight is also a huge factor we got yeah. to play in. And if we look at in Naruto, we'll see that Sasuke just lost his eye to a kunai, and that should look like it fucking hurt, right? A kunai was thrown at Kaido in Wano, and that bitch just bounced off his skin. Luffy's durability is even past that, I believe now with this. Conqueror's hockey, his armament hockey. Uh, what's the new one he just got? Uh, what's the shit he learned in Wano? Oh, the uh, Ru Re Rayu? Ryu? Ryu? Yeah, Ryu. type. So I feel like his durability is at a whole different level for Naruto to even really I handle. Are you, are you sure? Only be because of that and because of Gear 5. Aww. This is JoJo. Hey, JoJo. Nice He's, to meet you, buddy. User. Fucking adorable. Is he going to grow bigger than that? Yeah, he is 11 weeks right now. He's a baby. Oh, wow. He likes to bite a lot. I got two dogs. I got a shit doing a pulley. And a microphone. Aww. Thing. We're going to get another... Uh, we, I think we're going to get like a pocket pit when he's a little older. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're going to name him Dio. So we're going to have JoJo and Dio. Oh, that's yeah. dope. That's, <laughs> that's love. I fuck, with, I fuck with when people name their dogs after anime characters. That's totally... I'm going I'm to get a dog named Ace. My shit doing name is... Oh, I love that. My shit doing name is Sabo. It is. Aww. I'm gonna I'm go get his brother soon. Sure. <laughs> but I only got a few more questions for you. Uh, so I really want to know who are some some cosplayers that you really admire or you've looked up to throughout your like career of doing cosplay. So so many. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Kaido. Um, 
Um, but I would say at current, some some creators that I know just are about their craft and are really good at what they do. Uh, Cutie Pie Sensei, Jasmine, another. And it's so cool because I've been doing this for so long and because I have absolutely no fear of looking like an asshole. I just like come up to these people mm. and like, Everyone I name, I can also say is a friend of mine. That's too, dope so. as fuck. Yeah. Uh, so Cutie Pie Sensei, uh, Alley Cat Cosplay, Allison. She's really, really good at crafting. Um, Pantriona Cosplay. She is, um, she lives in Trinidad. She's like a Trinidadian cosplayer. Oh, wow. But she, I, I think, was like contacted by Blizzard for Worlds. Like she's, she, I, I, if I showed you like the, the cosplay that she did for Worlds, you would be like, that's the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It, yeah. it moved. She had like prosthetics. She was like mm. a sea monster. It <laughs> had smoke. It lit up. Oh, I was like, yeah. she, oh, she oh, went dumb. Throwing shoes. Fucking <laughs> with that. <laughs> she, she about this shit. Like she, yeah. she's so talented. Um, Chrissy Yuki is another really um, talented cosplayer. Um, she has a lot of cool builds. K Bear, I love K Bear. She's just such a sweet person, also. But she she's really good at uh, building armor. And then of course you got like Jessica Negri. She's a sweetheart. I don't know if she considers me a friend, but I love you, Jessica, and we're gonna be friends. Um, yeah, I would say I would say off the top of my head, those are definitely like the cosplayers that I uh, look up to. Like I want to be like that one day, senpai. You see so, this man trying to attack oh, me? Yeah. This black Air Force energy. <laughs> you feisty. <me. laughs> Bro, I fuck with dogs so much, my nigga. Man. Go ahead. Give me some more bread. But yeah, and I mean, race. there's a lot of other, like, um, just really, there's so many talented cosplayers. I, most of my friends are talented cosplayers. Um, but those are definitely just names of people who have been in the game forever. Right. Have had very consistent really clean work um that could win any competition they wanted to if they really you know did it so i think <laughs> dope dope do you have any advice for any young cosplayers who want to follow in your footsteps um don't be afraid to make mistakes um i think that one of the things that inhibit inhibited me the most when i first started cosplaying was telling myself that i couldn't make a cosplay at that time because i wasn't good enough to do x y and z for whatever part but you're never going to be good at it unless you try to make it and then learn sure. from that experience and then maybe even remake it again you know and i that's another thing that i would give in terms of advice for any sort of cosplayer no matter how new or old you are remake a costume like that is mm. the biggest confidence booster you will ever have is to be able to you know side by side a few years apart be like look at how much better i've gotten look how much cleaner my work is look how much uh more even the stitching is look how much better my makeup and my wig styling is and, and just being able to you know um remind yourself of of the progress that you make because i feel like sometimes we we do this dress up we're so many different people and it can be hard to lose track of of the progress that you're making and Cosplay has become such an online phenomenon. Definitely. Uh, people have rightfully, you know, complained that it's become a little bit of a popularity contest. And I feel like sometimes we let numbers cloud our view of the actual just progress that we're making as creatives, you know? Yeah. Um, the art. At the end of the day, it's an art form, exactly. And like, if you can totally be in it for the numbers and the money if you want to be like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but um don't compare yourself if you do want to be in it as an artist to the people who are doing it as strictly a business venture because like y'all aren't in the same lane y'all aren't in the same race right. and you're just probably gonna make yourself sad because <laughs> y'all have to function completely differently you take the joy like, you, you take the joy out of the game you start comparing yeah, yeah. Exactly. everybody got their own path 100 percent. it'd be catching me it's it's hard it's one of those lessons that like you know and it'll still catch up to you because it's sneaky sometimes mm -hmm. you know but yeah just gotta just kind of keep remind, reminding yourself what you're doing it for and, and stick to that you know keep track of your progress so you can you know be proud of yourself and if you ever feel like you're falling out of love with it take a break there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking a step back or working on a cosplay that 
no one gives a shit about that might not get likes but that will make your inner child happy do it mm -hmm. do it do a group cosplay that's completely low effort y'all just bought some sailor senshis from amazon get drunk with your friends <laughs> in sailor room it doesn't have to always be a production you know right. sometimes it's just cause play a good time right i feel it cause Nah, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Hey, she had her dropping gems like a clumsy queen. So definitely take notes. Um, take them. I made samosa. <laughs> <laughs> My last question, and it really saddens me to say, because I've definitely been enjoying this conversation with you. Sure got to have you on the podcast again. We having like a, a One Piece manga uh, review or something like that, because you, you know what you're talking about. Nah, no bullshit. Shit. We, we shouldn't be. Let me turn this review. We're going to talk about it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about it. We're going to talk about it. But my very last question for you, uh, closing the night is, how does watching anime affect your mental health? Um, I think that probably, unless I'm watching One Piece and I'm getting a sad backstory, <laughs> um, that it definitely does a lot of good. I definitely think that um, I have internalized a lot of the main characters. Just, it doesn't matter, you know, what you have up against you, you just gotta keep going. Um, and I think Sorry. that's part of why Gurren Lagann specifically is like one of my top animes of all time, is it's just, you think that's your limit, it's not, push past it. You'll never know if you, until you like, your limit is when you stop pushing, low key. Mm. Um, mm. Go above and beyond, and it definitely inspired me and picked me up in a few times where I was just, you know, falling off, and you know, the, the, the type of characters that I want to be, um, are the characters who, who get what they want because they refuse to take no for an answer and I feel like we could all use a little bit more of that in our day to day life. The Rebels. Hey, I like that. Rebels kick it. Hey, I fuck with that. That's that was a perfect way to close it out. And it's just like that. Y'all heard it here first. Like Got Wreck and Ronnie here with us. You are once again the cosplayer of the month at JVTV Anime. So, and we believe that what you do is art and you deserve your flowers for it. Until next time, y'all, we just venting. Peace. You know, I was just venting, man. You know.